Those with sound thoughts, you will keep in peace. In peace because they trust in you. Isaiah 26, 3. J'ai aussi écrit ça en français si tu lis pas en anglais. I also wrote in French if you don't read English. Let's get started. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Afi. Oh, I look cute. Yes, girl. Yes. Break it down. Oh, you good. Oh, you're so cute. Sorry. Kind of got starstruck. Um, today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a couple styles that I'm going to be doing with my natural hair. It's kind of like a nice summer vibe. Um, first and foremost, fill up your water bottle. Uh -huh. You will need a lot of water. Water. Sorry. Um, so I'm going to be using that water right there. I filled it up with um, conditioner. Actually, it's actually empty. I should have refilled it, but you know me. <laughs> and I got time for that. So I'm going to be separating my hair blue for nipsey what's up and then i'm going to show you guys the styles that i'm gonna be doing first and foremost if you are new to my channel hey how are you doing don't forget to like subscribe and also share this video with your friends and family um je vais um commencer là par avec de l'eau après ça je vais utiliser les clips là je vais you know yeah so now i'm gonna be using the anna is it aunt jackie curl la la curl la la catchy right curl la la and we're gonna shimmy our way into the hair so i'm gonna put that right product right there in my hair just condition it because that's the first look i'm going to do we're gonna bring out the curls pop it up pop it up slow pop it all around okay so i'm gonna go ahead and you know do this section by section and i'm gonna come back after i'm done je vais montrer comment je vais faire sortir mes curly avec cette pommade ici um I pass you for video. So for look number one, as you guys can see, this ooh la la curl la la by Auntie Jackie got my ear looking curly. Well, it takes a while for products to actually, you know, penetrate in my hair. So the curls will come in pretty soon. So I'm going to be zigzagging. I don't know what type of zigzag that is. Um, yeah, hopefully yours looks better than mine. I'm going to be zigzagging my hair. You felt the lean lot of zigzag. And I'm going to get this, this, this hair tie right here. Well, not this hair tie, but the one that's about to show up right there. Well, blue for next. But I'm going to get the, <laughs> the, dang what did i say i'm gonna get that yeah i'm gonna separate my hair so i'm gonna uh part that side of my hair up i don't like to take remove my voiceover so you get what you get i'm gonna be getting my hair right there pin that and um we're gonna pin it all around and now i'm gonna unpin that section right there i'm gonna brush it up a little bit and all i need is a little bit a little bit of this a little bit of that okay so yeah, so basically this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get these um hair scrunchies on a pesa le chinois chouchou in French. I'm gonna use these chouchou right here and I'm going to you know get it popping. If you haven't noticed, I like blue. The color blue is my favorite color. Something you notice about me, something you will learn about me. And I'm gonna get this brush right here, and I'm also gonna get that chouchou, chouchou. And I'm going to add that to my hair. And um, yeah, so basically that's what we're gonna do. So because I don't have a lot of hair yet, keyword yet, I'm still in the awkward stage of my natural hair journey. I'm going to, um, I'm, I'm not gonna add any extra hair because I like my hair. Um, let me tell you guys about this right here, okay? All right, this is by far the best edge control for slick back ponytails now i wouldn't use it on your edges because my edges didn't hold up that, that well with this edge control but uh -huh, i'll tell you if you try and do a slick back sis go grab you this okay outside of got to be gel this will do the job so i'm gonna be using that and just doing this the you know slick slicking slickly slick on my hair and i'm gonna use a toothbrush just to make it a little bit neater than what it is get my baby hair popping if you don't have baby hair get your grown hair grown women hair you know popping <laughs> get your adult hair <laughs> yeah 
your toddler hair, <laughs> your senior hair, sorry, and um, get it popping. So because it's, I don't have a lot of hair yet, like my hair is not as thick, I'm going to use a second hair scrunchie just to give it that little, you know, volume. And um, we're just going to add more just to, you know, give it that high puff filling and we're just going to add more so in total of all you're going to use two three scrunchies just to give it the high volume this is how the first look is going to look it looks cute oh girl you are so cute let me let the music play <laughs> That was cute. So next style. For this next style, we're going to first take the ponytails off, the piggy tails. And we're going to use this edge booster. And I'm going to put it on my fingers just to get my braids a lot more slicker than usual. And what this does, it just makes my braids look neater than what it actually should look like. Now remember, these styles will not come out perfect because I'm like transitioning from one, one style to the next. So I have enough edge control in my hair. So for those of y'all who be like, hey, that's not cute. Sis, try it on your hair, okay? It will be cute on your hair. It's not going to look cute to how it's looking right now. So I'm just going to get the edge control and I'm just going to, you know, attack the hair. And I'm going to connect that hair with this hair in the back tie it up a little bit now imagine if sis had some long hair if i had long hair this style would be cute so just because i don't like like you know looking basic i'm just gonna get these bobby pins um golds are really cute in my opinion if you do these styles i'm gonna just crisscross them huh dozo mi mo na na mama so i'm just gonna use the bobby pin i'm just gonna crisscross applesauce yeah looking cute and yeah that's that's basically how the look is going to look like it's going to look like this it's not going to be perfect you don't want to really dig deep because if you put the bobbin pin super tight in your head which it is possible for you to do so your head is going to hurt and you're going to lose hair so this is how the looks looks like the looks look like you know what let the music play So for my next style, I'm going to take these bobby pins out because you are done using them. On by on live it, on live it too, on live it, on live it. And um, this next style is gonna be like a nice. Um, you'll just see. So this edge control <laughs> will be used on every style. So remind you, a quick reminder: this these styles that I'm showing you guys will not look as neat as. You know, as if I was doing them just a single video, okay? Because I'm transitioning from a style to a different style to a different style. So, just want to remind y'all that I like to leave comments without listening. So, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to finger twist the... Is, what's this called? The braiding twist? Yeah, I'm just going to finger twist the front of my hair. Get the, the rubber band on va atake with the hair. And I'm going to get, well, you can leave it down like this if you want. But with me, I'm going to pin it up. Up, 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 and up. So we're just going to pin it up, get the bobby. Well, we're going to get the hair clip this time around just to give it that nice colorful look in the back. And we're going to pin the rest of that up. So this is how the look is going to look. Because my hair is a little bit, you know, moist um is that the right term <laughs> my hair is a little bit wet so um yeah it's not gonna look as woof as you wanted to look so i'm going to get that bob that edge control and i'm just gonna slick slick the baby hair slick the toddler hair slick the adult hair slick the senior hair <laughs> sorry that's not funny so yeah, I'm just gonna slick it, get the edge control popping. Um, this is how the look is gonna look like. Well, this is how the look turned out. It's really cute, you know, it's really cute. Very nice for the summer, looking cute. Yeah.
So next look, I'm going to do another updo style. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get my front hair. Mm -hmm. We're going to tie it up with a shoo shoo. And um, we're going to use a basketball headband. Blue for Nipsey. I told you guys I like blue. <laughs> I told y'all I like blue. And I'm going to pin that up in the back. And we're going to do like a, you know, Compton, you know, L.A. Sway. And that tag right there, I'm going to cut it off later, so don't worry about that. And I'm just going to pin that just to keep it kind of secure. I'm going to get a bobby pin or a hair clip, whatever you call it. And I'm going to pinch it at the back. And I'm going to get my hair to get a little bit, you know, thick with it. I need it to get thick, okay? And I'm going to use my bobby, my, you know, hair right here. I'm going to twist it just to give it that extra volume because it's not as thick as I want it to be right now at the moment. So I'm going to do that same on that side of the hair. I think that's my right side. And we're just going to pint it. Pint it. Don't tell me more than that, mama. On va se voir comme si on est mélangé avec un peu de indien. So, um, so with my edges... Not my edges, my sides. Okay, I want to leave my sides out. Don't tell me you shouldn't have left your side out. I wanted to leave it out. Okay, sis. So I'm gonna leave my, you know, sides out. I'm gonna use my Aunt Jackie Curl Cream Gel, Flexi Gel, and I'm just gonna, you know, curl it up, curl it, curl it, curl it up, and cut that tag off. Cut it off really nice, and um, yeah, this is how the look is gonna look like. So, y'all like that? That was cute. That was really cute. I said yes. Finger snaps. So we're back again with the edge control. This time around is a different updo look. Yeah, I think this is the last look. Last but not least, I'm. I was thinking about doing like a frohawk, but I decided not do it after I saw this style that I was actually, you know, I don't know. This style wasn't planned. It was supposed to be a frohawk, but I guess. We changed the last minute. So I'm going to do like a side ponytail slash puff tail, I guess you want to call it. So I'm just going to twist the sides of my hair, pin it up with the bobby pin, and I'm going to pin the back of it up as well. So yeah, I think if you use the right edge control, the right gel, the style will look bomb. So this is how it's going to look like just to be, you know, fancy. Huh? Parce qu'on est quelque important. Hmm, oui. Oui, on est quelque important. I'm going to add those colorful bobby pin. You will rarely see me do this because I don't do extra stuff on my hair like this. But <laughs> I just look cute, so I decided to do it. And it was $1, sis. Come on now. So this, this hairstyle is going to look like this. I'm just going to pin each side up, but I'm going to leave the front kind of like tilted a little bit. So it looks like it's like all shifted to the side. So, yeah. If you get tired of ponytails, you want to switch it up, sis, there you go. There you go. So this is how it looks like. I hope you guys enjoyed this video just as much as I enjoy making it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and tell a friend about me. And don't forget about us. <laughs>